Well, the first day of spring isn't until March 20th, but that spring weather is already hitting northeast Florida, at least this weekend. So to help you prepare for spring, WJST is teaming up with Ace Hardware to bring you everything for spring. Here to talk about flowering and shrubbery is Rebecca Olery. She works in the lawn and garden department. Glad to have you on this Good morning. morning. Everybody everywhere, especially here in the South, they love azaleas and many people have already gotten them and are trying to get them in the ground. There are a couple of things that people need to keep in mind. First, the soil. Oh yes, absolutely. There's a certain type of soil that they should be planted in. It should be slightly acidic. You really want to make sure that you check your pH. It needs to be uh, right around that 6.0, 5.5 um, acidity. Um, other than that, if your pH seems a little bit high, you can always add a little bit of fertilizer meant for azaleas, um, even for blueberries, and that would get it to the right level. Now for the person who's not so scientific out there, how do you check the pH of your soil? Well, you can go to NEA's Hardware and we have plenty of soil testing kits. If you don't know how to use them, we'll be glad to show you. Okay, so once you got the soil situation figured out, you need to have it the right fertilizer, right? Correct, correct. So when you start planting your azaleas or any flowering plant, any flowering shrub or tree, uh, you really have a lot of options when you go to the store. You want to uh, try to find something that's going to have a bit of a systemic in it. Okay. So systemic what do we have meaning here? it's going to have a little insecticide. Okay, so insecticide basically to keep your pests away. Exactly. Okay, so what are some of the examples here that you really recommend? So I recommend Fertilome on a normal basis. It's meant for southern lawns. Um, works very well. It's a very uh, it's got a little bit more phosphorus in it for your blooming of your azaleas, and you can even use it on some of your roses if you'd like. Okay, so you have them in the right soil, you have the fertilizer, Correct. and then comes the time that you actually need to prune them so they can keep on looking pretty. Exactly, <laughs> and be careful when you prune. I try to tell customers to wait until after the bloom. It's that way you don't cut off any potential buds that you might still have on your flowering bushes. Now, we do have that spring light fill in the air, but I must say that there is a cold snap in the forecast. Yes. We're talking about temperatures by next week dropping down into the 30s, some people dropping into the freezing mark. So with that being said, how do you protect your azaleas if they have or haven't bloomed? Well, azaleas should already be pretty heavily mulched. There again, they like the acidity from the mulch. Um, that will protect the root system. You may seem a little bit, um, the blooms may drop. They may drop a little bit over the next week, but don't worry. We've still got plenty of time for your azaleas to bloom in full fashion. And they'll bounce, right? Oh, back. yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Rebecca, thank you, for Jonathan. coming in.